Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today, we're going to be customizing the Enos Windsor drop in GTA Online. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside the custom shop. We're going to start off with the armor all the way up, brakes as well, the engine as well, all the way up. Next up, we got the lights. We're going to go Xenon, of course, with the plate yellow and black, the respray. I'm not 100% sure what color I want to go with on this car. It doesn't uh, really look that great in my opinion, simply because of the drop top. So we're gonna have to work around that and just go for something that hopefully it turns out good. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm thinking a dark blue sort of primary like this. And for the secondary color, I'm thinking silver honestly looks really good. Honestly, I'm sort of thinking maybe going with a uh, like a dark blue for the primary and a little bit of a even darker blue for the secondary. I feel like that looks really good. Let's go for that. I'm not a huge fan of doing two-tone on cars, but I feel like this car is one that you can actually pull it off on. So we're going to go for that. For the roof color, I've got it black right now and honestly it looks pretty good. But we're going to check out what the uh, what the darker blue looks like and see if we can possibly match this up. So galaxy blue kind of works with that. I think we're just gonna go for galaxy blue. Next up, we have the suspension. So we can lower this thing a decent amount, actually. I think we will do that, why not? For the transmission, all the way up. For the turbo as well, all the way up. Next up, we got the wheels. I think we're probably gonna go for some high ends and I think we're probably gonna end up going for the split 10. I feel like the split 10 looks good on like any luxury sort of looking car. I think we're gonna go for that. Let's do it. For the wheel color, it's already black, perfect. For the tire design, we're definitely not doing one on this car, but we will do bulletproof tires. Next up, we have the windows. Let's tint those all the way out. All right, let's take this thing down to the ground, do a little sound test and a review. All right, guys, let's see what this thing sounds like. Honestly, I feel like it sounds pretty good. It could definitely be better, but it is a pretty acceptable sound, I feel like. The wheel spin off the line with this car is absolutely horrendous. It, uh, it, it likes to spin the wheels, that's for sure. So, But you know what? That's okay. It is a uh, big luxury car. It's not a super good performer, so that's fine. As far as the acceleration goes, it actually accelerates pretty well. Uh, it, could be, it could be better, obviously, but it is a, a pretty big boat of a car, I would say. This thing is kind of a land yacht. It does look pretty good, though. I, I do like the look of this car. And the acceleration for what it is is not bad at all. Surprisingly too, actually, the handling of the car is actually pretty good. It, it does seem to go exactly where I want it to go, and it doesn't seem to spin out really either. And it also doesn't seem to understeer either. So this thing is, uh, it's, it's, doing, it's doing good. Let's, uh, let's wait till we get up to the corners and we'll do a, uh, a, a bit of a more thorough handling test. So here we are at the corner. All right, okay. It likes to drift a little bit uh, on these sharper corners. The back end does like to slide out, that's for sure. But it doesn't handle too, too terribly, I feel like. Definitely could be worse. Oh my god. Because it's so long, I feel like the back end just wants to slide out like constantly. And it's honestly a little bit annoying, but honestly, this car is not for performance. This car is like purely for like cruising and kind of looking like you, uh, like you run things. Like you're the boss, you're the CEO. That's what this car kind of makes you look like. And it kind of makes you feel like that too. It is a, uh, it is a pretty cool car. Now, before we uh, end this customization, I want to put the roof down on this thing. The roof does take a whole age to close on this car because it is so long. But the car does look really cool when the roof is off. This is sick. Definitely a cool car. It definitely kind of gives me boat vibes. Like, especially with the top down, I feel like I'm sitting in a boat, but just driving it on land. Um, I feel like it looks exactly like one of the boats in the game. Uh, I can't I can't remember the name of it, but because of the wood grain there on the uh, on the back behind the rear seats, it definitely feels like you're driving a boat, sort of. And it is very, very big. It's a very big car, so definitely gives off some 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 real boat vibes so anyway guys this thing is uh, is a pretty cool car i would say i can't say i would recommend it for the performance of it although the performance is definitely actually not as bad as i was expecting it to be but what i can recommend it for however is if you want like a cool car to pretend that you're like the ceo of some fortune 500 company or something like that 
or you just want to look like a boss in Grand Theft Auto Online, there's not a better car to do it in than this thing. This thing is actually pretty sick, guys. I would I would recommend it if that's what you're into. If you just want a cool car, this thing is pretty cool. Also, you could definitely pull up to car meets in this and uh, and definitely get some love, I feel like. So anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.